49ers get to go back to the link. You got these two teams that are by far, I think, number one and number two in the NFL as far as power rankings go. Schedule, uh, you know, record, all those things, that kind of helps. But Eagles find ways to win. 49ers blow everybody out. That's the two different teams. So if it's close, you got to give the advantage to the Eagles, but I'm not quite sure it's going to be that. 49ers got a lot of reasons to be pissed off. The injury, but they're two different teams. It's not even that. It's the constant talking by both. Debo's not keeping his mouth shut and has not. He's been the same guy, and I, I want Debo to be that. I don't mind trash talk. I don't mind that at all. That's not a bad thing. And, like, people are like, dude, nobody messed with the Rocky statue this year. Like, nah, get that shit out. So, ah, dang it. I just said I wanted, I don't, I don't care about no mythological movie freaking statue. I was there in 2021 when we beat them, and they did the same thing. I didn't mess with the Rocky statue, but, like, that's not, come on, man. Like, uh, I'm not a superstitious guy. And I'll put something out there. People are like, oh, you jinxed it. And I'm just like, man, that I, I wish I had that much power. <laughs> like, that's just not a real thing. At least you believe what you believe. I don't believe that. So I'm sorry. I don't mind being disrespectful to this damn team. Trent Williams slamming two of their dudes to the ground at the end of the game is the energy I want. Dre Greenlaw has not had a personal foul in a long damn time. Not saying I want him to play dirty. I'm not, that's not what I'm saying at all. I want physicality, violence, anger, disrespect between the whistles. That's what I want. That's what they deserve. Hell, their fans can do it to children week in and week out just for wearing a different color jersey. None of their players speak out against that. That's complicit in my book. Go freaking be disrespectful to them on the field. Now, don't mess with fans. Like, just because the Eagles fans suck doesn't mean we got to suck. They're terrible humans, whatever else. Now, this is the game of the year. Now, you look at the point differential. That's huge. Uh, so far this season, the 49ers are plus 140. That's stupid good. The Eagles are plus 64. That's very good. But they've blown out a couple of teams. You know, okay, so let's look at this. The Eagles are 10-1, okay? Top five in points scored. They're averaging 28.2 points per game. That's a lot. 19th in points allowed. They're giving up 22.4 points a game. That's a lot. That's bottom 10. So their defense with what they were last year, not what they are now. That's not what they are. Not what they are. And so it's not that elite defense. Are they good? Yes. They have a great D-line, and they got one good safety. That's it. Now their D-line, even though there's, you know, Three four, you know, it's three with it's a three four that shifts into a four three with a wide nine, whatever. It's almost always an odd man looking front. They've got eight good defensive linemen and they got one good safety. But how many defensive linemen can you put out there at once? Right, right here, Calvin, uh, Calvin Hobbs, he says, you know, crew threw a lot of flags, most in the league, I think. I don't have that number, but yeah, whenever I was looking back through the games, it's a lot of penalties. Refs are going to be a factor, refs are going to be a factor. <laughs> right here, Rook. We're top two in the league, and we're not number two. That is factual. The, the, if you have anything out there that says the 49ers aren't the best team in the league, I don't know what you're watching. You're probably not watching the 49ers play. You're sure as hell not watching the 49ers destroy the Cowboys, destroy the Jags, destroy the Seahawks, just destroy the Steelers, uh, destroy everybody. Now, yeah, they had the three games. I get that, but that's the NFL. And in the three games, the only time that it was a – Bad, quote-unquote, like, embarrassing loss would be the Bengals. That one, you could chalk that up. That's the one that's the question mark game. Like, ooh, what, what's going on here? But they righted that shit. You look at the Eagles, you could argue they're playing some of their worst football right now. Now, the quality of opponents that they're playing, solid. You know, the last three game, Cowboys, Chiefs, Bills, they beat them all. Barely, but they still beat them all. And you could cut up quarters of each one of those games, and you could say this is not a playoff team. They turn the ball over like crazy. Their defense is not sound. There's missed tackles. There's missed everything. Assignments blown continuously out there. It's one of the most simple offenses in the NFL. It's a college offense. It really, really, it's an RPO college. Hey, I'm gonna play a clip. Just as a person, I don't know him personally, so don't don't take this wrong. I think he just shows a lot of poise. 
um, uh, very confident. You can see that over the years and what he's been able to accomplish. Uh, has a great command of that offense. And as we've seen the last couple of weeks, uh, he has the ability to never be out of it. He can bring those guys back. Uh, I think they do a great job in really putting him in a position to be successful. You know, no, no slight uh, to this offense because uh, it's phenomenal. But, you know, it's a, a RPO college type deal. So you know, there's certain reads that they tell them to look for. That's why we got to do a great job on the back end and not tipping those reads off. This is like the most simple offense in the NFL, and that's what Nick Sirianna brings. Simple. They don't have any delay games because it is a simple call that's set up to read. This is – it's funny. I coached at Duncanville High School, one of the best programs in the country. We would play a team called Soto, another one of the best teams. To put it into perspective how good these two teams are, like they're three and a half miles apart in South Dallas. And in Texas, both teams won the state championship in the same division because they reallocate based on population, right? So, like, <laughs> the big schools go to the 6-1A, and the smaller schools in the 6A go to the 6-2A, and both teams won. But when we played DeSoto, they had two damn plays, I swear, man. And it was a zone read with a whole bunch of options on it, and they just freaking – they ran those plays like crazy. Damn good team, best athletes in the world. Now – that's what the Eagles do. It's it's more complicated than that. I'm oversimplifying, but it's pretty damn simple. There's not a lot of, oh, wonder what they're going to do, and oh, this is really complex. You look at the Niners' offense, the most pre-snap motion in the NFL. You know, every play is built off of four other plays, so if you stop this play, well, we're going to boot that, or we're going to kick that back, or we're going to run a stick knot on that. Like, everything, it's a web of plays. Where if you stop this individual string, well, there's five strings off of it that we can go with. Robert, I love this comment because I, I forgot about it. Let's be honest. Uh, he says, Greenlaw wants to hit Hurts hard for the Eagles fans' comments to Warner's wife last year. Yeah, uh, just them hassling her, you know, and throwing stuff at her and all that stuff. Like, you think Warner, who that's his, his wife, is carrying his child now. It's going to matter to him. Drake Greenlaw, that's his best bestie. It's going to matter to him. The Eagles gave too many reasons. And, you know, we're going to look back on this, and I could be way wrong, and people would be like, Chapman, you're wrong, and that's cool. I'm wrong all the time. Ask my wife. Now I'm just going to beat the shit out of Philadelphia. That's just the way this looks. And you guys, if you listen to the show long enough, I close games, and, you know, I'm always respectful, or at least I try to be. But there's a few teams I just don't respect. This ain't one of them. Are they good? Yes. They're not as good as the 49ers. On offense, defense, they are on special teams. Special teams is trash. I'm sorry. And the spread going from 49ers being one-point underdogs to plus three favorites on the road against the best record in the NFL and one of the most hostile places to play for? Come on, man. I, it, Come on. And again, I'll say this. Prediction time. Let's do this. This is the best defense the Eagles will have gone against in two to three years. The 49ers have played the best defense of any team in the NFL probably the last three to four years over what we did last year. I would take this Niners defense over anything during the Kyle Shanahan era, even 2019 when we had D Ford healthy for that short window with DeForest Buckner. This team is better defensively. It's better. Now, they're going to get theirs. AJ's going to do his thing. Jalen Hurts is going to get first downs. I get that. Don't let them get into third and short. Third and four or longer is key. Third and four and longer is key. Does that mean they won't convert third and fours? Yeah, they will, especially late in the game. That's what they're best at. But you got to stop their running game early. Greenlaw, I'm looking at you. I put this game on him. He is the tone setter. I want to hear the pads on the broadcast view. I want to hear the pop. I want to feel the energy. And if they get flagged for it, I don't give a damn. Don't care. Break their damn wills. Oh, let them know who you are. We didn't get that chance last year. You better take advantage of it. Now, we don't take advantage of it. Eagles win this game. 
I'll be the first one to say, yeah, we lost. It ain't about excuses. It's not what it's about. I don't care if it rains. I don't care if somebody gets hurt. Don't care. Sam Donald's back there. Don't give a damn. You win this game because you're better than they are. On and off the field, you're better than they are. On and off the field, you're better. So go do what you do. They're going to turn the ball over. Jalen Hurts is going to give you plenty of opportunities. Jalen Hurts, yeah, you got to capitalize on those. So when he turns the ball over, don't give it back to him. Play complimentary football. Don't get away from the run. I don't care if our rush attempts are going for one and a half yards per carry. Don't care. Keep running it. 25 plus rush attempts, period. Period. Because everything flows off that. Oh. Niners going to win this damn game by 11 points. 27-16. That's what I got. And I, I'm i pumped, man. I, <laughs> I could not feel more confident in this matchup. You just gave the Niners too much. You gave them too much. And, hey, we'll see. We'll see. Now, I will say this. I really appreciate you guys and thankful for y'all. We'll be going live right after the show, win, lose, draw, whatever, therapy, celebration. The 49ers Rush Podcast. 